In honor of me now becoming a fully legal road hazard, I have decided to play some Project Cars. Aren't I treating you? Okay then. Pre-race build up. Get hyped. Come on, do this. Okay. Ready for the lights. Ready. Okay. Mirror checks. Yep. Mirrors all seem to be fine. Uh, oh, easy road user. It's rude. Get into first. Um, yep. Gently roll away. Just like I learned how to drive. Yep. Nice and steady. Not too sharp in the accelerator, you know. Got to make sure everything's you know, fine and eco-friendly. Nice safe drive. Make sure to keep to my side of the road. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. How was your day? Yeah. You're important too. Gentle braking. Nothing too sharp. Ooh, a bit too quick there. A driving instructor would tell me off for that. So, yeah, Project Cars. Realistic driving simulator, this one. Very realistic. I mean, it's just like driving the real thing. It's just amazing. I mean, look at the views. I mean, this is England, and it's actually managed to make it look rather nice for a change. Struggling to, uh... Think of anything interesting for this video, it's Ooh, run a bit wide. Good thing there's no oncoming traffic. It could have been a nasty accident. Yeah. I feel it's gonna be a rather boring video, it's just uh, just me practicing how to drive, you know. Nothing too special. It's just just me out for a nice quiet Saturday drive. Or, you know, whenever you watch this. Oh, we have some uh, traffic. Careful not to hold them up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sir, sir, I'm going to need your insurance details. Oh, and yours. Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. I think I have been wounded. Some people on the roads just... You, know, you wonder where they got their driving experience from. Clearly must have been the uh, local goat. You know how good they are at driving. I don't know why I picked a goat. I'm not racist towards goats. Any goats out there watching this, I, I, I'm not racist towards you. Sheep. Oh dear. Jeez. But goats. No. Goats are fine. There's something wrong with that temperature gauge down there. It says it's 21 degrees outside. This is England. Mm. Oh, they're back again. Blue flag, you've got faster cars approaching, let them bite. Faster cars? They're arrogant drivers. They're road hogs. They don't understand what it means. Look at that. I've even gone into the oncoming traffic. How rude of me. Stop hanging off my bumper. Ooh, that was a tap. You know what? Screw it. Let's get my race craft on. Yeah! Rally cars are four focuses, right? I'm sure they do four focus rally cars. Oopsie. Oh, medic! Medic! You better come in. It looks like you sneeze. Ah, screw it. Hadouken! Oh, what do you mean that was the end of the race? Was I really that lapped down? 
Was I just straight up disqualified? Oh well, don't care. Right, because I am an absolute moron and I love a great challenge, I'm going to drive an aerial atom around the Nürburgring. With no practice. Let's bring on. Oh, yes, my tyres are Stone Cold Steve Austin. Is he still famous? Will people actually understand who that is? Genuinely no idea where I'm going. I mean, I love the Nürburgring, but never driven on it in this game before. This is a first for me. You get to watch me fail. How honoured you must be. See, I'd love to do more talking and commentary, but this is actually taking every brain cell I have to concentrate, because this is such a difficult course. I mean, this course can be done in eight minutes? Nine minutes? Oh, well, I'm apparently not taking that corner. Um, spinning up the rears. This course can be done in eight, nine minutes. I think the record is just under seven. Piss. So, for me actually having any hope of finishing it with a car that still functions well, I'm hoping a lot. My mechanics had the nerve to send me out on cold tyres. Get rid of that mirror. See, it's, it's one of the great things about Project Cars. You can customise the entire UI. And I'm not going to because I'm trying to drive here, but... Using the D-pad, you can hide things already. I mean, I can do that and I can get rid of things, which is... Really bad because now I have no idea where I'm going. Um, but look at here. It shows me all of my temperatures for tyres, brakes, uh, throttle, speed, braking, G forces, everything. E problems, problems, problems. Which is just amazing. And this is what you want from a racing sim. That's the wall. That's another wall. No, not reverse. Forward. I knocked the mirror off. One. I have a couple of bugbears with this game. First one being the gearing. And I'll demonstrate this to you right now. Okay. In reverse, full reverse, and brake, and change up, change up, change up, change up, and oh, there's the gears. The same with going forwards. Oops, I need to go backwards. Reverse, 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 there's reverse. It's, unless you are at a complete stop, you can't pick a gear to change direction. I personally don't like that. Bugbear number two is... Uh, Oh, it's the only bit of the circuit I know. Ah! And he still gets it incredibly wrong. Again. Uh, the second bugbear is the choice of displays. And by that I mean the units which yeah, everything is viewed in. I'm an amazing driver. I need a wheel. There goes my bonnet. Well, the livery probably looked nice on the car beforehand. But I'm missing a little. Um, but, as I was saying, the uh, the units that you read out in, they're either metric or imperial. Which usually isn't a problem, but as I'm an Englishman, I learnt how to read distance in metric and speed in imperial. What that essentially means is, I know what miles per hour means in speed, 
but not what kilometers per hour means. But I know what kilometers is in distance and what Celsius is in temperature, but not what miles is in distance and what Fahrenheit is in temperature. So I can either have an understanding of how quick I'm going, but no idea how warm my car is, or I can have no idea how fast I'm going, like now, and have perfect understanding of how hot things are. It's... I'd like it done differently, but that's just me. There are people that do the 24 hours on this. How? And I'm going in the pits without even completing a full lap, because no more of this. No, 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 not gonna, not gonna stop. No, no, fine, okay. Apparently I'm going round for a round two. Yeah, okay, screw this. <laughs> well, the greatest way to learn something is to be baptised by fire, so, um... That's a jump start. Yes! Jump start. The race director has given you a drive-through penalty. Box this lap, box this lap, confirmed. So much wheel spin. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, who knew the McLaren P1 would be this difficult to drive? Okay, this time I actually picked a decent car. Try not to get a jump start again this time, okay? Into first. Oh, he locks up the brakes. I'm the best driver. I know how this race is going to go. This is totally the first try. Ah, the wheel spin. Don't, 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 don't. I refuse to use assists. Aside from nearly killing someone, I've actually done rather well. And he gets knocked instantly in the car, just... Instant ice rink. Sure. No, 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 no. Son of a biscuit. Well, for the last race I'm going to do, it's going to be after the Formula 1, which takes place in Monaco this weekend. So, uh... Yeah, he's already put it in the wall. Pastor Maldonado would be proud. Oh yes, he would be very much. Don't hit me! Oh, that was my own fault. Oh, so was that. Oh, so was that. I didn't. I just changed down. That's all I did. Jeez, I'm backing them all up. Yano Trulli has returned. Okay, okay. Who hit me? You douchebag. Ow, Jesus Christ. Okay. I have no control anymore! <laughs> okay, you got a warning from the race director for cutting the track. Try oh, my no, wheel just came off. Um. Let's view all of this again. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know they have a change. No, nope, that's restart. I have no idea how to change the view. Ah, there we go. There, there, there's that scumbag. Mining my own line. You can't go around the outside into there. That douchebag hits me there. Oh, hold on. I think I murdered someone. Ah, stupid camera controls. No, don't. Mm. Okay. First off. The rear wing is wide open, and for those who don't follow Formula 1, 
The rear wing wide open means no rear downforce, no grip on the rear wheels. So you touch the throttle and it just slides. That's why I'm all over the place when accelerating with this car. That sucks. Second, this guy, Colossal Douchebag. Goodbye, Colossal Douchebag. Stop it. Camera, work with me. Ah, fizz it. Look. I got airborne. Well, he's not dead, so... Oops. That's not meant to happen. Although, at least this thing has... What are you doing now? At least this thing has damage modeling. Now that I am perfectly peeved, I shall now attempt this for one last time. And I've already been shunted. No, 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 no. Ow. Okay, okay. I, hands aren't even the controller anymore. I... I what did you two do to me? The race was going so well, and then I slid. Although it was almost expertly held drift. Let's see what happened. Ciao. Got around there. That's fine. And came into here, and had a guy on the inside. Uh huh. Yep. Cheers. And in the wall. Ta very much. Uh huh. Yep. And then he proceeded to push me whilst getting beaten up by somebody else. Further down the escape road. Further breaking my car. Until they both gave up. You know, just because the sponsor name is Double Impact doesn't mean you both have to hit me.